Hi, this is Ed back again with another supporter video for everyone on Patreon, Subscribestar and Steemit. Thank you all for your support. Obviously, without you, I wouldn't be able to keep on doing this. We're going to go into something pretty strange today, and that is world leaders depicted with six fingers. And we're going to go into this quite in depth, as well as a number of other things. So let's just really get right into it. Now you're aware that I covered the strange photograph or strange picture painting of Bill Clinton and Jeffrey Epstein's townhouse the other day. Made world news actually, everyone was talking about it. And you're probably all aware of the painting of Barack Obama. Well they share one thing in common. And that is, they both have six fingers on their hands. So here is the Barack Obama portrait and you can see the six finger depicted there with the red circle around it and that famous portrait which was in all the news. This was talked about this six finger extensively by the media at the time. People were asking why does he have a sixth finger. Here's the Daily Caller talking about it as well. And here is for reference purposes the entire picture. Now at the time when I made a video about this particular portrait, I went into the history of the artist that did it, as well as the occult significance of the green man depiction, that is the face arriving through the leaves themselves. Those were some speculations. So here is the hand itself. Now, it's important to note if we are objective, as some people say it's a fold of skin. This does not look, at, uh, does not look correct to me because this isn't how the skin folds underneath your hand if you are not 90 years old. Remember, skin becomes more elastic with age. Now, if you put your hand on the table and look at it and put it down, remember Barack Obama's like a 40-year-old man, okay? He was. Uh, I'm not sure his exact age, but he isn't like 96. That is my meaning. If you put your hand down on the table and look at it, does the fold of skin fall like that? No, it doesn't. So a lot of people are saying, and I think it's a great speculation, and including the muscle around here, that this is a hidden depiction of a sixth finger. It doesn't look correct. Everyone knows what a hand looks like. So let's get into Jeffrey Epstein's mansion, or at least the depiction of Bill Clinton. Here you can see Bill Clinton, and what do you see? Well, you see one finger there. It looks like the pinky finger. You see two, three, four five, six fingers on his hand. Now, that is pretty interesting, but what's more interesting, well, what's interesting as well is the actual sign he's giving with his hands, which we'll get into in a moment, because I recognized it. Here's a close-up of the hand, which you can see the six fingers depicted, and, and remember that certain hand sign, which you can see him depicting there, because we're going to go into that in a moment. The fact is, is that this is obviously a bit pixelated. This is the best I could do. I'm not sure if an ultra high resolution of this particular image exists, but this is the best I got at the moment. So this six finger on these two very powerful people, ex-presidents of the world, of the United States, very influential world, uh, you know, leaders, so to speak. Although I wouldn't exactly say they were good leaders, but that is... Uh, besides the point. So if you're talking about six fingers on a hand, obviously if you look into uh, historical uh, examples within, let's say, the Bible, you'll see references to six fingers occur in what's called the Nephilim, or the giants, which were the offspring of uh, breeding between angels and mankind or humanity, where they came down and bred with uh, females, uh, earthly females, and they had this offspring, which were called the Nephilim themselves. The Nephilim were depicted as a bloodline, and they're heavily uh, associated with the occult in terms of this bloodline, important bloodline of these groups of people, not depicting as seven feet tall, but a particular bloodline that has certain traits about it. People have long speculated, is this the bloodline that, uh, you know, royalty and all these types of things people seem obsessed with? I don't know, but they are obsessed with the bloodline. That's important to note. Uh, but in this regards, this bloodline, at least within the Christianic 
uh, religious system, which is one of the only references to six fingers here. They depict it as having an extra digit on their hands. So being visible by their uh, six fingers. Here's just a reference for that, the ancient giants with six fingers, etc. Here's a reference to someone commenting on RH negative. I don't want to spend too long on this, but RH negative, of course, I've done videos about associated with a secret bloodline. It is a small percentage of people, around about 7 6%, that do not have any link to any kind of primate ancestor in their blood as the 95, 96 other percent of people on the planet do. So they're very different. They also uh, are more prone to uh, soreness in the back, uh, certain types of allergies, uh, asthma, these types of things. They also seem uh, to have a higher IQ. They also seem to be more neurotic, uh, have more psychological problems. They also seem to be, there is studies that show they're less susceptible to the AIDS virus, which is very interesting. Okay, those are studies I'm not saying, I don't know 100%, but that's what they're saying. There's also something strange in the scientific community, and that is there isn't an overwhelming amount of studies. When it seems like this would be something of hyper importance, but people don't seem to get funding for it. So there's only a handful of studies out there that are focusing on RH negative individuals, which you think would be a significant area of research. I went on about that in my video uh, last time. In fact, the groups of people have to start their own small Facebook accounts in order to share information about what it is like to live as RH negative. What kind of similar things are happening to them? How do they feel? Now, RH negative is important because you cannot breed. An RH negative woman cannot have a baby with a, a normal person, okay? the baby becomes rejected by the immune system. So there's this kind of firewall of breeding. Now, obviously in the modern age, they can have a baby, but they need to get treatment through the hospital in order to manage that. And what I have heard is that's the majority of the times. So not only do they not have this rhesus monkey uh, protein in their blood or any link to any kind of uh, primal ancestor, but they also cannot seem to breed with the normal population. At least not as easy as everybody else can have children, like six or eight children. The actual womb starts to attack the child. Now look into that. Now of course there's cases of two different blood groups combining and creating children, but usually it uh, is needed medical intervention somewhere along the line. Now remember that hand sign I told you about in regarding uh, Bill Clinton. Let's move on from RH negative and bloodlines. I just thought I'd provide that for context. See, it's not just in Bill Clinton. Here's Raphael, one of the most famous people or painters there were, okay? And he is depicting who here with uh, six fingers on their hand. One, two, three, four, five, six fingers. And that is the Pope. So that individual that's being depicted by Raphael with six fingers is the Pope. Who's what? At the time, a world leader, one of the most powerful people in the world, with six fingers on their hand, and the same type of symbolism you see Bill Clinton holding with six fingers in his hand. Now, this is the uh, 16th Madonna here, and uh, it is uh, means six or six, okay? Uh, and that is the patron saint there of this family and was said to have six toes on his left foot. Okay, and six fingers. Okay, so this world leader was depicted so, was depicted so, not just by the artistic representation, but because they were said to have these extra appendages. You know, that's how they were depicted. So it was normal. Now, if someone in a hospital these days, let's be realistic, if they're born with an extra appendage, it's usually removed. Okay, so you don't see people like that today. But there's this kind of strange thing in relation to this Nephilim bloodline. And giants are also worshipped, or at least in the architecture and the iconography of elite institutions like the Rockefeller Insti you know, Rockefeller Center, these buildings which have gone on about, Bank of America mural, etc., and giants in art. 
But what I believe it's referencing is a bloodline, not like eight feet tall people, but a certain bloodline of something. And I don't know what else there is. I mean, it's, it's, it's we're, we're like people in the Da Vinci Code, right? I mean, that's like been my life the last few years. It's like I'm living in the Da Vinci Code. Um, but I don't, you know, <laughs> living in the Da Vinci Code, it kind of feels like. Okay, so this could be either correct or not. But look at the hand symbol. It's, very, it's almost a mimic representation of what you're seeing in the Bill Clinton painting. Now, let's be an objective individual. It's possible that the artist was making a reference to this. Okay? It's possible. She was an art student. Uh, she was at the Tribeca 2012 auction. Maybe she sold a piece of art to Jeffrey Epstein. It's possible. Although this is quite obscure. Okay? This is quite an obscure thing, but it's possible. Uh, the, the strange gesture, gesture here, uh, which the Pope is doing... The sixth pope, okay, this is all 666, by the way, okay, uh, it's all got, all this number seems to be over everything these days, um, whatever that means, okay, whatever that means, and I'm aware that in the biblical context that was a reference to Nero as well, some researchers say it's a reference to Nero within the, the biblical context, and that's where the beast name came from, they're referring to Nero. Um, whatever the case is, it's about the institution now that over thousands of years is taking these symbols for them to mean something to them okay they've created their own mystic schools their own meaning around these symbols their own their own this own their own hidden order so that's the pope there of course very powerful person bill clinton very powerful person same kind of symbolism even in the hand with the six fingers uh, so on and so forth. And here is just some references to the Pope who's referenced there, okay? Uh, as you can see here. Okay, there was a picture of him directly in there, but you kind of get the point. You can look him up on the internet. Uh, that's his name and reference purposes in there. We're called the Sixth. Now, this is unusual before, and I'm only mentioning this. This probably, who knows if this means anything at all. But if you look at the dates at which Jeffrey Epstein died and was born... Okay, one of someone mentioned this in the comment section, so I had to do the mathematic. It's very strange. He uh, he would died at sixty six years old and six months. Six six six. It's like I'm living inside a simulation. Okay, and sometimes it feels like I'm living inside a simulation. Uh, very unusual. So sixty six years old and six months old when you use the age calculator. They're born, of course. January the 20th, 1953. I bet you, okay, I should actually do the math on this, but I believe his first suicide attempt might have even been close around 66 years, 6 months, and probably around about the 6 day mark. Maybe they tried to create 666. Actually, you know what? I'll go do the calculation now. I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, I've done a quick mathematica on the first suicide attempt. It might seem strange to do this, but I do that all the time. And we were three days shy. If he had committed suicide the first time, according to the mainstream media, his first suicide attempt, which I think was just an assault by his uh, cellmate at the time, he would have been 66 years old, six months and three days, so three days off. Pretty close there, but still off. So this is the reference for the Pope there if you want to look up more information on that particular photograph there. So it's not the only place where six fingers and six toes occur. People have mentioned research and noting that in certain Raphael uh, paintings, there are depictions of extra toes on the feet, as you might see here. Now, as I stated, this is a different time in history you didn't have the medical intervention where people would come in and remove that early on. But that doesn't change the fact that these symbologies move up to the upper echelons of power and they mean what they are today, to them. Okay, a different meaning. Now, here we're going to talk about Buddha. Now, this is where it gets strange. We're talking about very influential world leaders. First of all, when you look into Buddha... There's not really any references to Buddha having six fingers on their hands, except for very obscure examples. Okay, Buddha is depicted as a 
you know, in a normal human form. As you can see there, he's a famous picture of, uh, you know, uh, you know, Buddha, etc. All this different religious systems and depictions of Buddha. Um, and you can see the hands there look fairly normal. But there is an obscureness to some of the depictions having six fingers and six hands. And then there's an explanation as to why. And it gets interesting. As you can see here. Now here you see uh, six fingers and six hands on and a mystery here dated or updated on 2015. The mystery of a Buddha statue with six fingers on their hands. Why was it depicted? Because of course... If you're carving stuff in stone, it's far more permanent than a painting. So you want to get the hands correct. Well, what they're saying is quite interesting. See, there was a world leader, an emperor, that stated to car he wanted Buddha carved in an image that represented uh, himself. Okay, uh, so it was stated... Okay, that the representations of Buddha, which fanned it out, these obscure ones with six fingers, uh, etc., were actually depicted depictions of, uh, you know, that individual and their father, who might happen or happen to have six fingers on their left hand. Also, that they uh, had this kind of uh, strange thing. Uh, they were a world leader. They were very powerful. They were in a position of power, and they had this extra digit on their hand which they said that they wanted the statues of Buddha carved into they wanted that representation of themselves as depicted in the artwork now we're talking about the Pope who also seemed to have that that I was just talking about you see me depictions of Bill Clinton and Obama that seem to have this so it's a very strange thing so let's keep on going here now we're going to talk about, obviously, this Barack Obama painting in a bit more in detail. I'll leave that six-fingered thing behind. I mean, what else can you get? What else can you uh, find about it? Uh, it? It will take a lot of research. So in time, I will update. And if you find anything, let me know in the comment section. Just post a comment there, and I'd love to look at any subsequent research you might find on the subject. It is rather interesting. So we're going to talk about the green man here and just very quickly go on about this Barack Obama painting. Now, one thing about hereditary or bloodlines, uh, this idea of blood, life, this passing on of a secret, uh, perhaps bloodline, you know, maybe symbolic of the Nephilim, whether it's a genetic abnormality or whatever, maybe it has some symbolism to them. And depicted within this artwork is uh, a lot of references to fertility and these types of references by this artist. As you can see here on Barack Obama's head, once it's adjusted, you can see that there is a sperm there. Now, a lot of people have stated, mainstream media have stated, that's just, that's just a, you know, a throbbing vein. But it looks a lot like a sperm, okay, in that. And the reason why it is a sperm, and I'll show you why that that actually is a depiction of a male sperm, is because of the artist's other work. Now, if you look at the artist's other work, it kind of becomes clear that that's what they wanted to depict. Here's one of the art other artist's paintings here. Note the corners here. You can see that they are an egg with sperm over them, or semen, okay, a bunch of sperm over that egg. Also, if you go to the painting and you give it a close-up, there is depictions directly of male semen all over that painting. So I think it's safe to assume that the depiction of the semen on literally Barack Obama's head, this is a presidential portrait. I mean, these people, can't they just display people normally? It's almost better if you jumped back to the old age of the, you know, the tycoon sitting there on the bench, you know, with a, a bottle of something there and a cigar or something, at least you can understand what that means. Okay, he's a tight in an industry, there's a railroad behind him. But this is just some strange stuff. Why does Barack Obama have literally a male semen on his head added to by evidence of the post work of the artist, which is depicting semen over everything? Why is that on the presidential portrait? Why does he have six fingers? references the strange type of bloodline or fertility or kind of things like that unusual 
Of course, the artist is famous for doing these other artworks, you know, cutting off the head of people. Why are they such, why are they so lauded? You know, what is this world? Well, you have to look to why there are leaders put in place where they are, okay? Uh, and that is it. I mean, Barack Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize. He went on to drone 60,000 people. I mean, those people, it's like that famous Bukowski poem, you know, the people that talk of peace are the people that, you know, pray for war or something. Um, it, it is a very upside down world. Anyway, I thought that was interesting in regarding the six fingers. So I'm going to tie it up about here. And the strange things about Barack Obama's portrait, the Pope and those similar hand gestures from Bill Clinton to the Pope, who was the sixth, and you've got all this uh, symbolism within that itself, six fingers over all these people. You have the emperor, former emperor, the depictions of Buddha who also seem to have six fingers on his hands. You wanted Buddha depicted that way. What kind of rabbit hole is this? It's a weird one, I tell you. It's a never-ending uh, rabbit hole. In the meantime, though, thank you all for your support of me on my uh, journey into uh, Mirror World here. Thank you to everyone on Subscribestar. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, on Patreon. And thank you to everyone on Steemit for those upvotes. In the meantime, of course, I'll be back. It is the weekend, the day after tomorrow, so we'll be back next week early with another patron video, which I hope will be of interest on another strange investigation as we journey through this weird world, which seems almost like a simulation together. In the meantime, make sure to stay safe, take care of yourselves. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you all later.